As part of Nurses Week, we are recognizing the men and women who go above and beyond to care for others. For one long-term care nurse with Truman Medical Center's University Health, when she's not caring for people, she's trying to inspire them. Her latest feat? Kayaking more than 2,300 miles along the entire length of the Mississippi. Oh, wow. So pretty. Tracy Lynn Martin says she's happiest when she's in her kayak gliding through the water. It's a time when she can be one with nature and escape from the constant pain of her rheumatoid arthritis. Rheumatoid arthritis is an autoimmune disease and it basically your body's immune system is attacking your joints. An active, avid outdoors woman, Martin was nearly sidelined when the disease hit in 2009. Suddenly, she found herself unable to do many of the things she loved, such as back Packing through the wilderness and jogging. It's hard when you're first diagnosed with something. It just feels like, you know, your world just drops out from under your feet. While there are some things she can no longer do, she can still kayak. And she doesn't just go out for a leisurely paddle. She's attempting to push through the pain and break a Guinness World Record, kayaking the entire length of the Mississippi River. I am starting at the headwaters up in Minnesota, and then I'll be paddling all the way down to the Gulf of Mexico, which is uh, mile marker zero. We caught up with her as she was packing for her trip. If I was ever in trouble, I just push this up right here and I hit SLS and that will send out a distress to the authorities that I need help. Besides safety gear, she has food to refuel when she camps in a tent overnight. This is freeze dried. Um, uh, food that you can open it up. You would have hot water. You'd pour hot water into it. I will uh, eat this in the mornings and then take off. I don't want to be eating this at night because I don't want that aroma. Bears can smell food like 20 miles away. And those are just the dangers on land. Once she reaches Louisiana, she'll have to worry about alligators. First, they're probably going to look like it's a log floating on the water, but as you get closer, you're going to be able to tell it's an alligator, and my goal is to just stay out of the way. She'll also have to try to avoid barges and freighters that are traveling the mighty Mississippi. Martin says others who've made this trip typically take between 60 and 100 days, but she's hoping to do it in 45, a feat that will be tracked through GPS data. Once I start paddling, you'll see like where I'm at, where, when I hit there, what my average speed was. If she's successful, she won't just secure her spot in the Guinness Book of World Records. She'll be proving something to herself and others. You can still enjoy your life and you can still do things that you've always wanted to do when you were younger before you were diagnosed with your chronic condition. How amazing is she? Martin has been making waves in her field for years, by the way. In 2017, she became the first person to circumnavigate the three largest lakes in North America in one calendar year. If you're interested, you can follow her progress on the Mississippi on her website, justaroundthepoint.com. We have a link attached to this story on our website.